What is up everyone? It's me the gamer 119 here doing the first uh, Temtem video on our channel. I don't know if there's gonna be more Temtem videos, but I have been hyped up for this game since I've seen it uh, back in its Kickstarter days. I think that was maybe a year or two ago. And I got access to the alpha, I played that, and now I bought the early access as soon as I got home. So I am ready. So I am a black guy, my guy, or my peeps. Oh, okay, look at that. Hello, hello, hello. Ha 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 ha. Ho 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 ho. That's that. <laughs> that. This run reminds me of the freaking. Um, what was it this one? No, yeah, this one. This one, like, just reminds me of uh, Get Out. Is it Get Out or Us? No, it's Get Out, yeah. And that black guy just sprinting at, the <laughs> um, at night. I I'm gonna be that black guy. Um, yeah, so apparently this game has had quite a bit of uh, server interruptions and like loading um, failures and stuff like that which is honestly understandable considering the fact that this game is in early access right now you know it's, it's still brand new um, now they have a lot more people on their servers than before but they're doing a really excellent job in like updating their community on Twitter and it's wonderful and I highly suggest joining their discord as well uh, because they update everyone quite often let's go for the that arrowhead avatar looking chin all right this is the face i think i wanted this face all right uh eye color we're gonna go with something we're gonna go for red eye color we're, we're just gonna be in guard no actually we're not gonna be in guardian form we're gonna go with gray eye color uh hair uh what hairstyle do I want to go for? Not that one. I think I went for that one last time. Uh, I think I'll go for this hairstyle this time. Along with the red. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Red. No, wait. No. Oh, right. No, I'm sorry. No. Virgil's eye colors are naturally red. Yeah, that's his. So we'll do that. Oh, no. I like it the other, the other way. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good, right? Uh, I was gonna go for a towel. Let's go for that hoodie. Ooh, that, that hoodie fam. Ooh, with the black. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I don't. Uh, is there? Is that a hoodie too? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's a better looking hoodie. Let's go for that one. Um, and we'll just go for the gray. Let's go here. Look for some nice pants. I really wish they kind of like maybe named their items, their clothing items. Uh, no, we're not trying to get for them short shorts. Alright. Black. With the, ooh, the fresh kicks. Ooh, let's go with that. Backpack. We're going to go with the standard issued I'm about to go to school backpack. Actually, we're going to go for a gray primary. And like that red secondary. Yeah, there we go. Look at my, look at my guy. Now we just need to log in our name. All right, so I'm pretty sure this name's already taken. <gasps> oh wait, that's right. Hold on. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I figured. All right, so we're just gonna go with my basic gamer tag, which you guys can find me on this game. Obviously, I don't think you can put numbers, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't put numbers. Um, so yeah, so I don't think anyone has the gamer. Hopefully not. And you can only, I think, put one. Uh, capital, right? One capital? Oh, no, you can put two. Alright, let's do that then. Oh, yeah, so it was one capital. Zang it. Yes! Okay, the gamer wasn't taken. Alright, I'm not gonna do... Sometimes people, you know, do, like, voices and stuff like that for these characters. I ain't doing that. However, I will pick my options. So we have morning and uh, hide this. Uh, I had this dream. Uh, we're just gonna put morning because I didn't really have a dream. I just created my character, you know. Oh, uh, even we go. They're all waiting for you. Uh, who's waiting for me? You, uh, of course, I don't remember what day it is. Oh wait, it's Apprentice Eve. I love how your character speaks. Like it's, it's really nice. Tempedia. The Tempedias are Pokédex. Oh, I should mention, Temtem is heavily inspired by Pokémon. They even say so in like the descriptions and stuff like that. So they just Blatant, they blatantly say that they are inspired by Pokemon, so don't just say, "Oh, this is a carbon copy of Pokemon." Uh, that, that, that's the point. 
It's not exactly a copy, by the way. There's like vast differences. Um, but yeah, here's the difference. Yeah, just what I wanted. Oh, it's a pedia. It's a pedia. So yeah, this is like the Pokedex in the game. Uh, love you, Aina. I still have no idea who the hell this character is. <laughs> like, obviously, you can tell by my skin color. I, I am not... Or at least I shouldn't be related to her. <laughs> Unless I'm adopted. Am I adopted? I just love the graphics in this game. I'm not sure exactly how the quality I can actually play it in. Um, I don't know if this is the actual settings I can play it in or edit in either. Uh, video? Can we play it in this? Alright, so... It does look pretty, pretty crisp. Um, we're just gonna go back to normal. Uh, the ones that was on. 16, 8 by 10, 40. Uh... Where was uh, that sort of was on? Alright, so we're gonna go back to these, uh... Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> no, no, we're not. I can immediately tell the difference. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, much better. Temtem loading. So, yeah, Temtem is pretty much inspired by Pokemon. There's a bunch of stuff you can, uh, a bunch of Temtem you can actually collect, uh, capture. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a trading system in the game as well. Um, but one of the major differences between this and Pokemon is the fact that this is an MMO game. Um, that's at her home sweet home. And obviously your character talks, that should be like a definite difference right there. Oh, thanks for the pocket money. There's my rival, he's a douchebag. There's the professor. Alright, so yeah, now we're navigating. Look how crisp this game is. Oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. Alright, we can use M to look at the map. So this is how big the map is. Now, there's, there's different islands here. Look how small we are right there. But there's different islands here. And um, this is just island number one. Then is, I think that's what it's called. I'm actually going to lower the volume of that in my headset. Alright, so let's go and get our first symptom. So obviously you, always, you guys don't see any players, and that's because you haven't actually got gone through the basic tutorial part. I played the alpha, so I know exactly what to do. I haven't actually gone to the next city, I don't think, in the alpha. Because I was always like an hour late. <laughs> now, there are different types of Temtem. So right there, that's a digital Temtem. The types here are different from the types in Pokemon. Um, so like, you know how there's grass, fire, and water, or whatever. These are not the same types. So you have little type symbols here. This is crystal. So let's meet this one. I'm not going to pronounce the names, because I think a lot of them are, like, said for, like, different languages, kind of. So, like, crystal or crystal is a crystal temtem. So, like, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so yeah, so crystal is a type here. Electric is a type. Mental is a type. Digital is a type. Fire and earth are types. Um, so it is strong against electric and mental, however it's weak against fire and earth. No, I do not want this Temtem. I've played with that. Honestly, I've played with this Temtem. This Temtem's pretty beast. Um, I've also played with this Temtem as well. Smazzy. This is the melee Temtem, so melee is one. Uh, we already know about that. Yeah, we know about those three already. No. Uh, the only Temtem I haven't played with, actually, is this Temtem. Hochik, I think. Is, is Hochik? Is the mental. So there's neutral as well. Uh, no, I almost clicked yes. Um, I honestly, I'm not a really big fan of that Temtem, to be fair. Like, I guess I'm just basing it off of looks, to be honest. This one has too many weaknesses. However, I do like how strong it is. It was pretty beast. But I do like Smazzy, and I did say I was going to pick Smazzy as my partner when I first started this, so. Um. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I can't, I can't. Uh, this was such a beast. Like, I, it was so great using him during the, uh. Doing the thing. They alpha, so I'm gonna pick that Temtem. So the Temtems are actually in cards. Um, so this is number 72, crystal type. 
uh, the SVs, you know, stats. They have HP, um, I don't know what, stamina, stamina, there is stamina in this game. So it's like the PP in Pokemon, how you know there's a certain amount of um, times you got to use a move. Stamina is pretty much how many times you can attack before resting. I'll um, showcase that when we are further along in the playthrough. There's speed, attack, defense, special attack, and special defense. The trait is amphibian. When attacked with a water technique, it gets more speed. And I can rename it. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually rename things later on. And I also don't know if I can make a new game. However, I don't normally name my Pokemon slash Temtem now, I guess. <laughs> the only thing I can name stuff in is like Ark. <laughs> That's because I'm always in a tribe. <laughs> So yeah, you better your rival here. Oh, minus my actual streams, and my streams actually do name my Pokemon now. So yeah, there's a battle here. So this is see the cards of a Pokeball. They spawn like that. Pretty cool, alright. So I'm gonna show you this. Um, let's go to with my tab. So yeah, using techniques: Spark, Wind Blade, DC Beam, Nibble, or Nimble. Oh, I guess that's a new move. I haven't actually seen that yet. Two, um, two Temtems. Uh, I will try my best, um, honestly, to not say Pokemon. <laughs> ah, Temtem really actus. This is version uh, 0.5.0. So anyway, I love the music as well. It's really nice. So this is to pretty much skip your... No, it's to swap your Temtem. So you have six. Uh, this is to wait your turn to boost up your stamina. Your stamina is the blue bar. Your health is the green bar. Your XP, it, you'll pop up randomly when you start beating Temtem. This is your bag, however we don't have anything for the bag, so we're actually going to use um, glass, or not glass, but grass. Oh, it is a glass blade. I thought it was grass blade. Uh, blade. Anyway, we're going to use glass blade, and you saw how that part was, um, you know, glowing or whatever. It pretty much means that's how much stamina we're going to be using. If the, it, that, by the way, he's supposed to beat you. Um, if your stamina actually runs out, like goes all the way to zero, does damage to your Temtem, and they do lose health, obviously. So be careful with that. The waiting thing is in, in, uh, is extremely important. I honestly forgot something. Oh my gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, hold on. Yeah, let's take all of this stuff out. I honestly don't know if any of this stuff is actually going to appear on my recording. It's all my stream stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is a new Temtem he gives you because this game is, I think, strictly um, two Temtem battles. or Yeah, two Temtem battles. So this is a new um, Temtem. Number 130 is Tawai. I think there's actually 141 Temtems currently. There's a wind type. Uh, trait, uh, damage done with, multi uh, with multiple target techniques is increased by 25%. That explains so much. There's a move that um, Tawai learns down the line. And look, all these new players. So yeah, he gives us this thing called Bomb, and Bomb, B-A-L-M. Oh, Tem, tem cards are how you catch them as well. It's pretty much the Pokeballs in this. And um, Bomb is the potions in this game. It's gonna pop up soon. You know, some delay here and there. Not that bad. Alright, can we move now? We should be able to move, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, we are... It's a little bit choppy. Now since everyone loaded in. So, we're actually gonna... Oh, thank you. We're actually gonna... De oh, is it choppy still? Uh, yeah. Tiny bit frame rate. We're actually gonna go down. To the 14. Yeah, we're gonna go that to that one. That's a bit smoother. A bit smoother. Alright, so obviously we can talk to everyone. I kind of do want to talk to everyone because I heard that there are um, little side questions you get. So to talk to people is F. Uh, how is my little Max doing? Yeah, Max, is no, Max is fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably not remain friends. Who knows? Depending on how he, piss uh, how he pisses me off. Alright, let's try to talk to everyone. Right, you see, look how, look, okay, so another thing about this game is that you can actually be mean to characters, like, out of my way, little girl, like, look at that. Of course I'm not gonna be mean, she's a little girl trying to catch a Temtem. Why, why would I stop her, you know? No, what happens if we have to go back home? At least I think it's my house. 
Oh. Okay, so she does heal my Temtem. I wasn't sure about that. Also, if you notice, your Temtem follows you. And it does switch when you move it. So, oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what to say what? Yeah, a tiny bit delaying right there. Alright, so let's look for a side quest. Because there are other quests you can do in this game. If you talk to the right people. Oh, new Temtem right there. That's if you talk to the right people, of course. If I can find the right people. I talked to you already, didn't I? Huh. I don't know, I'm wasting time. I mean, like, to be fair, I would love to find a quest, but let's just continue. Someone chose Snazzy up there. Oh, what was that thing? Anything you were sorry? Oh, here you go. I'm so sorry I couldn't attend your big. Uh, no problem, Clara. Just I've been looking for this pen since early morning. I can't find it. Uh, where did you last see it? Uh, I was just here, here by the sea, and well, it was very warm, so I went for a swim in the Salawa River. I must have lost it then. I'll find it. See, so, there you go. Find a missing pen. So, technically speaking, I don't necessarily know where it would be. I haven't actually done that yet. So I'm not gonna like look all around for it because I really don't know where it's at. <laughs> don't know it could be like in random. Oh yeah, you can talk to your symptom as well. Make sure they're happy. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, let's stop this little this guy. Sure, I promise to take her to Max. Whatever. All right, let's get some. Let's get to the battling. Or oh, actually, let's just. Yeah, you're supposed to tell them where they're at. Is that her? Yeah, pretty much nothing really happens. Can you just sit down? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you can't. Okay, you, you, um, you can. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna... What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, right. Alright, so now we're gonna get into our first... Battle? Alright. Let me showcase some... Anyway, go for a walk. Uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, just watch out for a long time to in the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's find a temptum in here. Oh, I can't move, so I think we just found one. I still can't move. Cool. I think we just froze, so I will be back again in a second. Just hold on to the second. I'm in a queue! Alright guys, what's up? Hopefully I can actually get in. I should have actually waited until I was in the game. Oy vey. Anyway, um, I guess I, I guess I can, you know, take the time to update you. Um, I'm actually doing the second half of the video on the 22nd, not the 21st. Only because uh, I couldn't actually get into the game. At, a, at, a, at an appropriate time, um, I was extremely busy after the first half. I had to go stream um, after party. Uh, after that, I had to go cook dinner. That took about two or three hours. I had to eat the dinner, obviously. And then when I was finally ready to, have to um, play the game, um, I ended up not exactly having time to wait for me to actually enter the game. And when I actually did enter the game after the queue, um, the first queue was initially done. It was just a black screen. I actually couldn't do anything however I did hear footsteps so that was I guess progress um so yeah I'm back at it on the next day um, this is day two of early access <laughs> so I guess you get to have my I guess review for the first two days I need to clean up my nice PC every month uh, anyway so uh, I've been actually um, watching some review videos about this game even like before early access maybe like a few days before early access when the alpha was still a thing and then, you know, when Early Access was available yesterday. And a lot of her, I, I guess, and I, I've been looking at the Twitter as well, but, like, people have been complaining about the Early Access and how people can't get in due to queues, they can't play the game because of black screens, there's, like, a lot of issues with Early Access um, launch day and stuff like that. Um, I... And then, then, then there's some people that understand 
why this is happening. I mean, it is an, it is an early access game, so you should expect these issues. And then there are people who can care less, and they are just like, you know what, T um, you know, game creators of Temtem are doing a great job updating their viewers and stuff like that, or I guess they're um, they're uh, consumers, they're they're gamers, the people who play their game or whatever. So you know, they're doing a good job. Keep at it, creators of Temtem. Yada 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 yada. Anyway. Those of you that have been complaining about the launch day and, and like expected this game to be much more than it was because of certain qualities that it received, such as the funding or the previous alphas um, that it uh, that it had. I mean, like, it, it's it's not unexpected for a game to experience these things, no matter how much funding they, they receive, no matter how big the company is, no matter how much alphas or betas they actually do. Um, and maybe they they could have pushed the ba um, pushed back the release date for 10 cents early access, but again, it is a early access game. It's not the full release. So I think that's the issue that a lot of people are not really getting. Um, for example, I will mention a few games that pretty much failed at their early access launch and some of them would be Ark Survival Evolved um, and that was had, that had a pretty bad launch on PC and I think it probably had an even worse launch on Xbox Atlas is another one by Wildcard um, Xbox's launch was not good at all um, they don't really update their fans as much as the creators of Temtem which I do have to give props to these guys I think they live in Spain and um they were still working on the game like past midnight their time and that was ridiculous i think they were working on the game about the time when i went to sleep like i was reading a twitter post um that was made eight hours ago i think i think i read that like two hours ago so they like that twitter post said that they were finally going to sleep or whatever and like in spain that's seven hours ahead of me so right now it's about to be three o'clock and seven hours ahead it will be ten o'clock for them which means let's say if i read it two hours ago it's 251 so um Actually, I'll round it to 3 o'clock, so like, it, it, let's say I read it at 1 o'clock my time, um, and 8 hours behind that, it would have been, what, 5 in the morning my time, when they actually went to sleep, uh, so that means it probably was around 12 p.m. their time, when some of their, I guess, members went to sleep or whatever, I don't know, like, what kind of, what their situation is for, like, the, um, their company or whatnot, I'm not sure they have, like, a studio, or if they're just a bunch of people in like a house or whatever, I don't, I don't know. But um, all I know is that they ordered pizza, <laughs> or not pizza, but they ordered food uh, to feed their employees, which is really cool. But um, yeah, they, they just stayed up really late trying to fix their game, and um, they're still fixing their game till this day. Uh, so I definitely have to applaud them. But like again, there have been games in early access that have not done so great with their launches and stuff like that. Um, another game, but, um, that not, that's not even an early access game, but another game that actually did pretty poorly if, with their launch was uh, Anthem. Anthem, made by Bioware, which was a full release game, and a company that has made several games before that, um, was backed by a company called EA. Granted, it's not really Bioware's fault, EA pushed out the game a lot sooner than they, that, um, it should have been, but I mean, it, it's a game that should have been ready for full release, or not really should have been ready for full release, but it was a full release game. Uh, backed up by a big publishing studio, and I mean Anthem had a pretty bad launch on I think all platforms. Um, I think Destiny as well, if I remember correctly. I mean Destiny was years ago, but um, Destiny One had a pretty bad launch. I don't know if Destiny Two had a, a bad launch. It had an okay launch, but there was some issues there. Um, I think even Pokemon Sword had a pretty. It, it was okay. It was okay for a launch, but I don't. I don't think it was flawless because I think I do think there was still some issues regarding multiplayer and stuff like that so um, like no no game or at least there's rarely a game that is flawless I'll, I'll put it that and like people just need to understand that it will take time however you have to give you have to have patience and you have to be thankful that the developers are actually communicating with you guys rather than having them be silent like they communicate almost like maybe twice every hour or something like that maybe even more giving you guys constant updates and like they have a discord as well just join our discord you'll find out updates from uh multiple people as well but yeah that, that's my little i guess rant on people who rant about this game um and it's launch day so 
yeah, that, that, that's it. Um, still in this queue, so I'll probably just cut this part out. Uh, at seven minutes, cool. Um, or I guess six minutes and some seconds. Uh, yeah. See you when I'm actually in. Alright, guys. This is like the third third video. Maybe the fourth video. I think this is the fourth recording. Yeah, fourth recording. I am doing this. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, man. <laughs> I have to like stream soon, but anyway, let's just get this uh, battle started. So I think I explained everything in the previous fight, right? Right, I did? Yeah, yeah, in the fight with the uh, rival, I explained it. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, a little, little Pajaro. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, thank god. Or, you know, just just play, just do the attacks I told you to do. That's all you need to do. Come on! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, first wild battle. So yeah, usually there would be two Temtems. I think there's only one at the uh, first wild encounter. My people have actually been having black screens after battle, so hopefully this is just the like delays that we're experiencing. That's what I'm hoping. If they are just delays, I'll probably have to attempt this stream later tonight. Or not the stream, but this recording later tonight. Or, I mean, I, what I meant to say was if they're more than just delays. But it was just a delay, so that's fine. Oh, alright, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> or a girl. Fishmonger? Repeat the best tem tem tamer of Zardar. Or Zidar? Well, I was expecting someone from the dojo, but I guess you'll do. You're officially an apprentice now. Shouldn't you be helping? Zounds, is she looking for me? Well, I'll go home as soon as we're done. Alright, so this is supposed to be a battle sequence happening like in the next five seconds. There we go. Or I guess within the next five seconds. Yeah, um, I mean, honestly, the alpha didn't experience as many problems. I do enjoy the gameplay. Like, okay, like again, there are like videos out there of the alpha uh, that are, I guess, smoother than the early access uh, version. But again, this is early access, and there wasn't as many people on as there was on the alpha. So, yeah, just gotta get used to the little delay. But it's not, it's, it's playable, you know. It's a little delay. Alright, so we're gonna see what Nibble does. We do have this habit of gently chewing plants of furniture. This is a little less gentle. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna use attack Pika Peck. Only because it's, you know, strong in the power row. I love the music though. Big fan of the music. So just waiting for this delay to stop. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, so I don't really know what Pika Peck type is. Bamboozle! Oh, the fence went down? Okay, okay. This mirror shell. Which takes a lot out of me. What does it do? Mirror, mirror in my hand. Who's the best tamer in the archipelago? I don't really know how to pronounce that, to be honest. No idea, but you get special defense. I honestly like the little descriptions that are like inside each um, move. It, it, it's kind of comedic, I guess. It's less serious like in Pokemon. Or unlike Pokemon, I meant to say. Uh, so, I guess the squiggly line there. Like, do you see that squiggly line next to the crystal? Um, I guess that means it's a stat move, while this is an actual damage move. Um, so we're just gonna use Showcase Nibble on Pika on Pajaro. Well, to Y, we'll use a move on Pika Peck. Uh, we'll use Peck on Pika Peck. <laughs> or Pika Peck. I really hope I'm pronouncing these names right. I'm pretty sure I'm not, but it's okay. Oh, 
Oh, right. I don't I don't remember what Bamboozle does. I think it actually um, stops the first move. So I think that's what happens. Alright, so... That took a lot of me, so we're just gonna use that. Gotta be mindful of... My, uh, stamina, you know? Don't wanna do damage to my own Temtem. Just, just waiting now. Waiting for the loading. Oh, there we go. All oh, right, it's a uh, one time. Ah, oh, so close. If I just used pack, I should have. I would have been fine. I honestly think that Pahar only has like status moves. Oh wait, no, 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 no. no. Cool. Let's just do that. So I think twice faster. So we're just gonna. Can we use pack? I think we can use pack. Two can Sam. Yeah, we can use pack. It won't take too much. There we go. Alright, so we got 43 whatever coin, 10 coins or whatever. I'm not really sure what the currency is in this game, to be honest. And now we just need to exit on that battle. Alright, so we're going to try to do this capture our first Tem Tem. Um, I haven't actually showed the animation for that yet. And I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen a video of it, but I'll still showcase it. I think the next battle should be a double battle, so it should be exciting. So let's go back here because that's a double battle right there. Oh, look. Got into the battle immediately. Well, not, you know, not immediately, but, you know, found the double battle. <laughs> You can actually kind of hear like a tiny bit of Pokemon um, soundtrack in it. A tiny bit. Ooh, double Pahara. Alright, so we're gonna catch up Pahara. That's gonna be our first attempt to capture. Whichever one's the strongest. Oh, they're both level 2. Both males as well. Um, not exactly a fan of that. We're gonna use Nibble on one. And then we're gonna use Peck on the other. Just see exactly how much damage you do on both. And then we're probably just gonna catch the weakest link. You know, that would be the best thing to do anyway. <laughs> Ooh, we're right. My, my feet are kinda cold. <laughs> Alright, let's see this, what Peck does. Okay, got into the orange. Oh, it knows Peck as well. All right. Oh, they're both pretty similar. I'm gonna catch the Peck one because I didn't. I don't remember Pahara actually having another move besides like Stare and something else. So we're actually going to use Grass Blade on that Pahara. I'm gonna use. Uh, I don't want to weaken that too much. I don't want. I don't want to end up using a bomb or having to go all the way back to whatever her name is. So we're just gonna use a 10 card and capture that Pahara. Alright, I, I, I think we're about to be good. Yep, there we go, there's the animation. One, two, Three. So it still has the three clicks, just like um, Pokemon has the three wiggles. Alright, we got Pahara, we got Friendship Trait, Immune to Allies Offensive Techniques. Um, that is actually pretty good, honestly, because, you know, if I want to actually catch something and it's really hard for me to catch, 
and I only have offensive moves, I can just attack Maharo and it won't do anything. However, the stats, I don't think are good. I don't, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm still confused about uh, SVs. I don't, I don't really know what all of this is. I'm not really big on that. But anyway, we got Paharo. Woo! Put him, put him in the squad. Oh, an instant. Nice. So as you can see, you don't actually gain XP. I don't think you gain XP for catching uh, Temtem. Unlike Impermon Sword, and I think Omega Ruby not for Sapphire. And I'm not really sure about X and Y or Sun and Moon. I haven't actually played those games. But they are definitely on my list of stream though, because I definitely want to beat other Pokemon games. I'm probably going to go back to Pokemon White 2 and Black 2, only because I have, that's the only games I haven't beaten. Oh no, I haven't actually, I, I think that's where I stopped. I stopped that Pokemon Black and White, and I haven't actually played Black 2 or White 2, and I haven't played um, Sword and Shield fully. I haven't played uh, X and Y, Sun and Moon, and, and I don't even have Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so... There's that. Anyway, we're gonna do our first double battle. I won't be able to show you guys the co-op feature only because I don't exactly have a friend that has the game. Kind of sucks, but it's it's just how it is, you know how life is sometimes. I'm a loner. What can I say? So, um, I don't really, special defense, alright, so, that's Tataru, I kind of want, I don't, I don't know what I should really be doing in my first actual playthrough of, uh, Temtem, I think Tataru's a neutral type as well, so whatever I do, will, that'll affect it, we'll get rid of the level 4 one, but yeah, I don't know if I want to capture all the, all the uh, Temtem, because I tried to capture all the Pokemon and Sword, and I just didn't enjoy the experience when I was playing it, but I also don't really know how I want to play Tenso because it's a completely different game. Not completely different, but you know. You know what I'm talking about. Tenderness! Oh. I love the animation though. My attack weakened. And knock out. There we go, finally a level up. Alright, so he learned show voice, so obviously we can just accept. I don't think we can decline, to be honest. Widely used by the Academia teachers, this is a neutral, oh, this neutral technique uh, def um, that deafens the whole class and eh, team. I really hope I actually said that correctly. Anyway, yes, of course, accept. It's honestly a really good move. I like it. Alright, so that's the boost in our stats. Um, we're gonna go with glass, or yeah, glass blade, and then um, I'm gonna showcase that new move in a later battle, because uh, I guess it's another feature that it has, just like Pokemon, which makes Tawai a really cool Pokemon. Um, wow, no, I said Poke. I didn't say Pokemon. It makes Tawai a really cool Temtem to have. Also, I think one thing I like about this game, well, at least I don't, I don't remember if one sword does this, but it does tell you if it's gonna be super effective or not. And that's the thing I, I think I didn't like about Pokemon Sword. I don't remember it fully. I know that's kind of bad if I'm referencing it, but oh well. All right, cool. Another thing I like is that only the people who are on the battlefield gets the XP, just like old times. Rather than, rather than the whole entire team. So, you know, back into the original OG uh, Pokemon days. I prefer that, to be honest. Although now it's going to make grinding a lot harder. <laughs> Just waiting for this to load properly. Well done, you'll be a great team one day, I know. Uh, 
I'm sorry, guys, hold on. Alright, so is there... Right, there was an item down here I can get. Oh, and a... I don't remember a tamer being here. Look at his hair. Red and blue highlights. Or tips, I guess. I didn't even see her hair that was up there. Black and yellow, I think. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I actually don't remember how much time I actually have on this recording. I'll probably go for an hour gameplay because this uh, video part is just so long. Oh, there we are. <laughs> but the loading times are long. Alright, I don't know if they have a move. I will see if they have a, um offensive move. But I don't know if they do. If they don't, I'll probably switch to um, Pahara so you can get some XP. Alright, I still going to do that move. Oh well. <laughs> well, I'll probably be able to use it next turn while I switch him out. Oh wait, did I attack the same Tenta? We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, right. That's, that, that's not affected. Well, luckily it survived, so. <laughs> Bamboozle! Oh, I won't get attacked by the first initial. Oh, that sucks. Strange. Techniques can be can cause more or less damage depending on the types. Okay, I don't really know Pikachu's type, though. Is it a flying type? I, I, I really don't know. Um. So, yeah, we're just gonna swap it out anyway for Paharo. And we're gonna attack that one only because. Well, that one's already weak, so we're gonna use the move. Either way. Actually, no, we won't. Uh, we're going to use Peck on this one. And we're going to waste its... Hopefully it wastes its Bamboozle. I don't know if it was like a turn-based thing or if it's just like a uh, wait until you attack type of thing. Little Baharo. There we go. Oh, Paharo, please don't die. And Paharo's gone. Of course, they both attacked that. That's sad. And I don't have the re the revive yet. I know where the revive is, but... that That's just very upsetting. Let's go to a Mirror Shell, because I actually haven't used that move yet. Wait, why, why can't I use Mirror Shell? That is very weird. I don't understand why I can't use Mirror Shell. Can it, wait, what? 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 What just happened? I didn't even click anything. Am I just? Am I attacking to Y now? Cause I didn't click anything. Or I'll probably have to go back to the uh, to that person I live with. <laughs> Unless he can just finish. Oh no! Yeah. I figured he still has um, overexertion. Oh, they overexerted. Nice. Oh, mirror shell worked. Okay, so that was weird. I don't know what was going on. But yeah, it's supposed to attack both, so sure we're supposed to attack both. Um, to why you're actually gonna rest in this point? Cause I don't want you to hurt yourself like that one did. But yeah, honestly, like this game is kind of difficult. Uh, it's just that delay. Um, it's it, it's difficult due to the fact that like your damage or like your attacks barely do anything so I, I do suggest like keeping the occasional one to two defensive moves yep that one's knocked out alright they're both gonna level up after this oh wait 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 hold on how much does nibble do? seven and we only have enough for a grass blade to be honest so why I could have finished this off as well But I do like how the NPCs actually um, are aware that they can overexert their um, Temtem. That's pretty cool. Like it, it just showcased an example of both: uh, one saving a turn, the other one actually using its all of the stamina. There we go. Level up. No 
Twice, 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 twice. So we're gonna go back to the lady that heals our Temtem, and then head back over here, maybe catch a fourth Temtem, and see how it goes from there. I'm probably gonna stop this recording at the uh, healing station. There's a healing station, I'll get to the first town uh, in this playthrough. Oh, what did, I, what did I just get? Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. It, it made a sound. It didn't pop up with what I got yet, though. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. I wonder if it shoots. I wonder if it still shows like a, a fainted Temtem. <laughs> Oy vey, don't tell me we can't move. I, I get that there's a delay, but like that, this delay should have actually been gone. Yeah, I think this game actually crashed again. Uh, let me check the Twitter real quick. Seeing if there's like any maintenance about to happen or or whatever. No, oh, they never said anything about maintenance or anything like that. Um, so I believe the game has crashed on us. And I did say if it did crash, I wasn't actually going to attempt it for another playthrough or another recording right now to the time. But I honestly think that's probably all the time we have for I'll I'll, I'll put everything in a video for now. Edit what I don't need. Um, edit what I do need. If it's like 40 minutes, I'll uh, do another try to do another playthrough tonight. If it's 50, I actually won't. I'll just leave it at the 50 minutes. Um, if it's 30, obviously I'll still like if it's like below 50 now, I'll, I'll do more. If it's above 50, um, no no. But yeah, if it's 45, I'm like wasting time right now. But if it's 45. Or, or above, then I won't do it. If it's below 45 minutes, then I'll do another playthrough and try to get to the healing point. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, or as much as I could have enjoyed it, or you could have enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like, and um, please do give this game a try, maybe a week or two later. Um, it is in its early access stage, and they are working very, very hard to get this game uh, flawlessly as possible. I will continue playing this game. I'll probably do a new save, actually, because I think you can delete your character in-game. You have to delete your character there. So, um, obviously, if you see this video and you hear this, in this this outro here, it means the game is over. Or it means the video is over. However, if you don't hear this outro, then I'm just wasting time. <laughs> I'm not going to include this outro in the minutes section, though, so you don't have nothing to fear if there's more. Anyway, uh, later, don't forget to join our Discord, by the way. It's, you know, really useful to know when we're uploading new videos. Goodbye. Oh, my God.